Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, the punk has it itself. Welcome back to the channel, guys, and welcome to part five of our walkthrough of the God of War itself. As usually, we are exactly what we left on in the previous episode, so definitely don't miss out on any single thing that is related to this beautiful masterpiece of a game that is the God of War itself. So, what do we have today on the menu itself? We are con going to continue to explore this beautiful lake here. Um, our goal is, of course, to find every single mystery that's resists himself in this beautiful game. So we definitely don't leave any stone unturned. By any means, if you like this content, do not forget to press a like, you comment down below, and of course, you subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, not going to wait any longer, and let's do this. Ah, ah, the mining rig's disabled. It seems a bit fresher out here. Not seems. Is. I... You're right. Thanks, brother. key to that watchtower door should be on this island somewhere. The ground looks weak down here, Father. That gear looks like it would freeze. Maybe that lift can help us get higher. Might be easier to break that ground from up there. Behind you! Look out! 
For. Now we must get to that watchtower on the shore. What are you not saying? The mining rigs are not the only sin I committed in Svartalfheim. Ago, you mentioned Odin's raven. What's to stop him from using them to pop into existence and kidnap anybody he wants? Consent. The only way to travel by Odin's ravens is by your own choice. Oh, it's not so bad then. <gasps> Can you hear that? No. Thought I heard a voice. Let's keep going, lad. Just put the key into that lock, brother. There. If you could give that drum a good loud strike. the voice I heard. I'd hoped it would have escaped by now, but we'll need to free it from its restraints. You ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then.
Father, do you ever wonder if you're doing the right thing? No. Okay. A Lundbocker. I captured it many years ago. For Odin? Yes. I thought it an imaginative and eye-catching way to earn his favor. It worked? That it did. Hey, How'll this infect my tools? No need to thank me. Creature, you enslaved it. Aye. But why? Because I was young and stupid. And I didn't know what it was like to be chained in one place for years at a time, with nothing to occupy your mind but pain. Too. If you could... Uh. There may be a way to reach it behind that collapsed debris. Find it! 
You're angry with me, aren't you, brother? I remember the feeling of a yoke around my neck. I would not wish it upon another. Learn anything? Why enslave the creature? Its fat is a good source of oil for Odin's lanterns. Oil for lanterns? Never anger your feeling. Whatever loathing toward me, it's nothing to what I've said to myself. Defend, if you could. I know. Just the tail left now. Look out! Red snake! The nest was hiding some sort of device. Maybe that dock can lead us to the tail. Let's get back to the boat. You never spoke of this creature. Does that surprise you? That an old man would be ashamed of the mistakes he's made. Hmm. 
More inspiring lyricism from the mind of Kvasir. thought, I'd hoped the creature would be long expired by now, but apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could kill it. No, not when we can save it. Good, we can reach the tail from this dock. Still save this broken creature. I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving? I don't understand. Let us continue. <laughs> Oh! 
Change as well. Sliding down that rope should take us where we need to go. Encouragement. Can you get me closer to its eye for a face to face, brother? Yeah, I don't think we can do anything with that yet. <clears throat> this creature, the mining rigs, they're mistakes, Mimir. But it's Odin's fault. That's not an excuse, little one. But thank you for saying it. Great blubbering beast. Shoo! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? It has grown accustomed to its chains. But no. No, we can fix this. We just need to chase it off and scare it. Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. The wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. That's not enough. It seldom is.
there we go guys another episode done another father father what was spartan, what was training, spartan like? training like unforgiving is that why you didn't train me like one did you not think i could handle it i did not think you should have had to thanks hopefully guys did you like this chapter and if you did do not forget to smash the like button you comment down below and subscribe yourself to the channel I'm your host of Punkhazard itself. Welcome very much to my channel if you're different, if you're new here. Uh, like usually, we like to uh, chill, we like to relax here, and we like to uh, play like a beautiful, sexy family we are. If any form of questions for me whatsoever, you can always reach me on Discord, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, like I said in the beginning of the chapter itself. It's nice and easy, nice and sexy itself. If you've been struggling in towards this uh, episode and this uh, beast, you could say, now you know how you can tackle it. I how we can loot every single thing in this zone super super easy but in the meantime so thank you very much for chilling me in this episode and uh, i will see every single one of you in uh, the next chapter as we are proceeding and moving forward of course in the story of creators itself and finding out every single hook nook and cranny every secrets and everything we can find left and right all the way to the end game itself so thank you very much um this is your, your channel to be for everything that is gaming related and i'm your host the punk hazards I'll see you, of course, the next time on the next chapter. Take care of yourself. One love. Always. Peace.